first uh, national championship is very exciting and uh, you know it's been a couple of years so I'm sure the excitement to get back there and then to finally do it uh, is huge for this team. Right? Yeah it's really cool um, going back from sophomore year made it to national championship we didn't think we'd make it there and then last year just fell just a little short so it's really exciting to um, especially for me to go out senior year to go out to national championship with my team who have been supporting me and been there for me the entire year and last year is really exciting. What does it feel like? I mean, people kind of talk about this of just Purdue Athletics having such a good year. And do you kind of feel some of that? I mean, with basketball, baseball, and now, I mean, you guys and them too are doing so well. Yeah, it's really cool to see all the sports kind of come together and everyone's playing well. I mean, basketball went to the Natty as well. So it's really cool to see that we can do it, they can do it, and Purdue's getting recognition in the media throughout the entire U.S., which is really cool, especially for me as a grad, because going out into the real world, people know the Purdue name now, and so that's really big for jobs and um, meeting new people and all sorts of things. So. Now, being able to beat a bunch of ranked teams last weekend, how is that positive momentum going to carry you guys into this next, upcoming weekend? I think it just shows our potential. Um, I mean, the five of us can do a lot of a lot of damage, and we're kind of the underdogs sometimes. Uh, good, good fall season. Um, struggled a bit in the beginning of the spring, but now we're back, and it just shows that you can't count everyone out. And just because they're ranked in the top ten. There's so many good golfers everywhere, and even if you're us, you can still come back and play really well. What do you have to do to, to maintain and then build on the fall when you guys broke all those records? Um, I think it's just a lot of keeping your confidence up and understanding that golf is golf. Like, you're going to play bad sometimes. You're going to play really well other times. And just trusting the process. I think it took a lot of um, time for us this beginning of the spring to kind of get together and think like, wow, like sometimes some things aren't clicking now, but you know that they will click eventually. And for us, it clicked at regionals, which is really cool to see. Hopefully it continues to click once we get to nationals. Coach Burrell's built this into a powerhouse program. What is Coach Burrell trying to add into this to where you expect to be at nationals every single year? Mm -hmm. um, I think he's done a really good, really good job at like turning the program over and helping build each individual person on their own. Um, one thing that's pretty big for me is that everyone can't be coached the same. You have to kind of individualize to help other people's um, weaknesses and strengths. So Coach Bird and Coach Gio have been really good with helping us out with that and um, just making sure that everyone's supported and he's like the most supportive person ever. Like he is always there for you, always there helping you, hype you up. So he's done really well for the program. So it's exciting to leave it and see and know that he's gonna continue to move it in a good direction. Golf is a very individual sport. How does the team element just kind of help you guys get through, like bouncing back from early this spring? I think it's um, really important was the team aspect. You know that you can always rely on your teammates. So sometimes if you're, oh, like I started, if I'm starting off and I have a bad first nine holes, like I know that my team's there behind me and I know that if I make one mistake, they're gonna make up for it. And so it's really important to know that you can always rely on your teammates and have them there. So that if you do make that mistake, you've got some cushion and then you can also go back and make it up and then help out your teammates as well. How does the course compare just to some others you played? The regional course? No, yeah, yeah the, the national course. Oh, the national yeah. course. So I haven't looked too far into that. It's going to be brand new. Um, they just did some renovations, so no one's played it since they renovated it last year. So we've heard it's going to be pretty firm. Green's going to be pretty pretty hard, so it'll be it'll be interesting to see how we can all adapt to that. Um, I played a U.S. Open qualifier a few weeks ago, and it was super firm too. So I think we're in a good spot to know that we know where to land it, be short, all that kind of stuff. So individually and as a team, a lot of ups and downs throughout the regional. How do you mm -hmm. put together a solid full tournament? Because that's what's going to take to to do well at this point. Yeah, um, the first two days, I think it was. We all just came together, everything clicked, it was easy. Um, four under the first round for the f for all five of us, and then I don't remember what the second one was, multiple more. Um, so knowing, I think it was important for us to build that in the beginning, start off strong, because the third day obviously got really tough. Um, having everyone shoot over par was really hard. And mentally on the course, like you're, you're struggling, like, oh wow, I played really well the past two days, and then today it's a lot harder out there. And so just knowing that you had that cushion, you had that support, and you have your team 